So I made a video about the Rurid Empire. And unfortunately, again, most of you in the comment section are spending time fighting over whether Rurids were Pashtuns or Tajiks. So I decided to get an expert opinion. I contacted Ahmed Nawid. He's a historian, author, artist, filmmaker, and a Fulbright scholar. And this is what he said. Dear Samira John, although I believe that artistic creations and literary novelties have nothing to do with people's gender and or race, I'll try to answer this inquiry as impartially as I can. As far as I know, there are three theories about the Ghurid race. Some of our country's historians consider the Ghurid to be from Pashtun descent, some call them Turks, and some consider them as Tajiks. In this study, we will look at all three views. So pause to read this paragraph about those who consider Ghurids to be Pashtun. And pause to read. These are other historians who believe that the Ghurids are Pashtuns. You can also pause to read this. These are historians who believe that Ghurids are Turkish and Mongols. And again, pause to read this. Those historians who believe that they're Tajik. Pause to read this fascinating information. Pause to read. So Ahoy Nawid basically says that in conclusion, we can state that it's the contribution of the people from different walks of life in various ethnic backgrounds which established a successful culture. And that's all that matters in studying human civilizations. In other words, the Ghurids didn't become successful because of the link or emergence of one specific tribe, but because of the unity of different peoples and tribes. It seems that in that time, people understood the meaning of one stick is easy to break, but a bundle is impossible to break. In other words, the Ghurids didn't fall into this trap of this divide and conquer mentality that we see today.